it's crazy how life just works in so many ways. And yeah, yeah I, it is. I mean, it, it gets even more crazier because come January of 2002, it's the Royal Rumble. It's the Phillips Arena. It's Atlanta, Georgia. You are mm -hmm. entrant number 11. It's you and The Undertaker. Right. The Undertaker's attacking the Hardy Boys. He's eliminating and Lita. them. And Lita. And Lita. And Lita. Mm -hmm. Dump them over the top rope. And then as he's taunting, as he's looking at them to tell him to get out of the ring, here comes Maven, drop yeah. kicking the Undertaker and eliminating him. And JR has one of his best calls, in my opinion. <laughs> Having that opportunity, what was it like working with Undertaker? Because he, he was the one who created the spot, right? Well, him and Shane, him and Shane. Came, came up with the spot. I mean, the writing team technically came up with it, but that spot doesn't go through without Taker's approval. Yeah. Um, and then just getting to the arena earlier that day to go over the spot, it just I, I still remember his graciousness. Yeah. And I think one of the reasons I, I try to be the way I am, to especially to young and, and aspiring, is because I remember what was bestowed upon me when I was in that position. I remember I, I would not be sitting here talking to you right now if not for the graciousness of, of Taker. And, you know, just obviously I'm grateful. But, you know, just I got to the I, – I remember I flew out of Cincinnati that morning, and I was thinking because I didn't know. I was like, there's the, yeah, they'll have me probably in the rumble. They'll have me come out and immediately get thrown out. And that'd be the end of it. Uh, easy. And just having my world just, you know, changed in a night. I, because I knew when, once they told me, you know, this is what you're doing. I knew immediately this was a big spot. Like, I mean, and I've brought it up to people before. What if I miss, you know, what if I don't hit him? His back's turned. You know, what if I mess it up? We're not, I'm not starting a wrestling match with him. I'm not eliminating him, you know, the, uh, another way. I'm not clothesline and taker over the top rope. You know, what happens? So there was a lot riding on that one spot. And, you know, luckily for me, I was in there with a pro. And yeah. anything I had, you know, following that is 100% due to the gracious, graciousness of, of taker. And, you know, just how he understood the business and what it takes, which is you have to build other stars to make yourself an even bigger star.